In this tutorial, I am going to show you how you can install and run Muscle in a Linux environment. Muscle is a tool that is used to perform sequence alignments. And in order to run it, you need to first download the binary file, which will be packaged as a table. You then extract it into a directory and you set a path to the directory that contains the executable file. Now let's begin. We will first visit the download page of Muscle. And this is the page. I will leave a link in the description box so that you can use that to also visit this page. On the page, you will find several files for the different operating systems. I am interested in the Linux 64 bit version of this software. So this is the file I will download. You can choose to click on it to download, or you can also perform the download on the command line. Because I want to download from the command line, I will first need to get the download link for this file. And to do that, I will first right click. And then click on copy link location. Now I have the link copied. So I'll move to the terminal to do the download. So join me over there. On the terminal, the first thing you do is to move to your home directory. We do that using the cd command. From there, we download the binary file. We will use regex to download. Let me show you how. Type regex and then supply it with the download link. You can also use other tools such as curl to download, but I'll prefer you use regex so that we are all on the same page. Now let's execute the command. Download is now complete. We can confirm using the ls command. Notice we have the file there. This file is a table. Therefore, we need to extract the contents. To do that in Linux, we use the command tar. We therefore say tar xvfz, then we specify the name. We execute it. Extraction has been done. We can confirm by using the ls command. This is the file that we have extracted. Let me clear the screen to make it nicer. Notice the name of this file. We want to make it shorter so that it's much simpler to call it. We will therefore rename it to Muscle. To rename a file, we issue the command mv. We specify the file that we are going to rename. And then we give it the new name, which is Muscle. Let's confirm that the operation was successful. It has been renamed. The next step is to add execution rights to the file. Linux by default does not permit scripts and files to execute it, so we need to allow that. To do that, we issue the command ch mod plus x, then we indicate the file of interest, in this case, muscle. 
that has been done. The other thing we need to do is to properly organize our tools and softwares. It is advisable that you place all your tools and softwares in a directory separate from your other files and documents. You will therefore create a directory and then move the muscle executable file into it. The directory will create is called apps. So let's do that. MKDIR apps. The directory has now been created. Let's issue the ls command to confirm. So there we have it. We will now move the executable file into that directory. We therefore see MV and then we indicate the name of the file which is muscle and then we specify the directory that we are going to move that in in this case apps let's do an ls notice the file is no longer being displayed here because we've moved this to a different directory which is apps so if you should do an ls of apps you get it there so ls apps there it is it's now time to test muscle to run muscle you specify the name as well as the path to it because it's in this directory we have to specify that directory as well we therefore say apps slash muscle this text being displayed here shows that we have set things up properly therefore we can run it let me clear the screen with the current setup whenever we want to call muscle we need to specify the four parts therefore we have to always use app slash muscle that is assuming we are in the home directory. If it's a different directory, you also need to specify the appropriate path. We can make this much simpler by issuing just the name, which is muscle. However, with our current setup, when we issue this name muscle, you will get an error. That is command not found. Therefore, we have to set a path to it. We set a path in a file called .bashrc file. Setting that path means that we are going to specify the location of the muscle. And then whenever you open the terminal, your system knows where to locate muscle. Therefore, when you issue the command or you call the muscle by its name, the system automatically links them up for you. Therefore, we will begin by getting the four parts. To do that, we will go to the apps directory. So we say cd apps. Of course, when you do an ls, muscle is there. In the apps directory, we will issue the command pwd. That is print working directory. And then when you execute it, you have this part showing up. Please note that yours is likely to be different. So you take note of whatever has been displayed for you. Once you have this part, you will now go and modify the .bashrc file. It is in the home directory. Therefore, we do a CD to move to the home directory. 
before I even modify it, let's quickly look at the dot bash rc file. Let's do head head dot bash rc. Okay, it contains some configurations or statements that you want to run whenever you open a terminal. So this is how it is. Before we modify this file, we want to first make a backup. We are making a backup so that in case something goes wrong with the original file that we are going to modify, we can quickly replace that with our backup and we get our system in place. Okay, so let's do the backup. So we say cp dot rc we are copying and then after copying the new name for the copied file will become bash rc dot back when we issue an ls it will be there okay let me clear the screen we'll move to the next step we are now ready to modify the dot bash rc file you can use any text editor to do that i prefer to use nano you can use gene edits or vim or vi or whatever you have using nano this is how i will modify the bash rc file nano dot bash rc and then on the file you will scroll down to the very bottom where there is no text written and then you add this statement exports parts equals to dollar part colon and then you indicate the part that was displayed for us when we were in the apps directory. Mine was slash home slash. Slash home slash students to slash apps. It's only the directory that we are placing here. We don't add the muscle file name. So take note of that. Once we have this set, we save changes and we exit. If you are using nano, you press Ctrl X. You confirm changes and then you are done. The changes will not take effect on your current terminal. You will therefore open a new terminal and then proceed from there. In the new terminal, you can just call muscle. And then it will be executed for us. So this text being displayed here indicates that we have set the paths correctly. So no matter where you are in your system, whenever you mention muscle, the software knows where it is and then it will run for you. Let me clear the screen. Now that we have everything set up properly, it's time to do some cleanup. Let's do an LS to see what I'm talking about. We want to save space. Therefore, we are going to remove this tabbar file here. We've also modified the bash rc file and everything was successful. So we can delete this file as well. You can also place it somewhere just in case, but for this tutorial, we are going to remove it. To remove the two files, we will start with this one here. You see, RM muscle, we remove this one. When we do LS, it's no longer there. Then we remove the backup for the bash RC file as well. The same rm bash rc dot back we are done okay 
the dot bash rc file itself should not be removed because that's part of the system files so you leave that alone okay so now we have everything set up and therefore you can always run muscle in later videos i am going to show you how you can use muscle to perform sequence alignment so stay tuned for that video in the meantime i will say thanks for watching this video and i will see you in the next session goodbye